Hello everyone and welcome in this video we are going to install a let's encrypt SSL certificate onto our EC2 instance. The instance uh, is having this particular public ac address, public IP address and uh, it allows access uh, from uh, anywhere uh, to these ports so 22 for SSH, 443 and 80 for HTTPS and HTTP and port 3000. Now we can take this away a little bit later but for now uh, let's just roll with it. Now uh, also to get an SSL certificate you need a domain or a subdomain name so with my domain registrar what I've done is uh, for my website nikhilpurwan.com I have created a subdomain within that called python app dot uh, nikhilpurwan.com and within that uh, or to that um, record I have provided this IP address uh, this is a, a or an address record so if you see this is the same IP address as the one that we have on the instance all right now uh, let's just quickly verify that so if I go ahead and ping uh, this particular um, URL um, uh, eventually we should get that IP address being pinged to. Now the request will time out because we are not allowing ping access to this instance but it will at least verify that the record is pointing to the correct uh, IP address. So notice uh, the IP address ending with 255.242 is the same here. Alright now I have also logged on to this instance using SSH and I'm going to go ahead uh, to the commands in the blog and I'm going to install them and I'm also going to explain uh, what are we doing. So first we are going to go ahead and install Nginx on this instance. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly do that. And uh, let's go ahead and say yes. All right, so we have Nginx uh, installed now. Let's go ahead and start Nginx. So first we are going to check the status of this uh, Nginx service. Notice that it is uh, not running. Let's go ahead and start it. All right, so we have our uh, Nginx running. We can quickly verify that by going to the IP address. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste. So notice that uh, it does open the Nginx. Now, of course, we can try to go to uh, the URL as well. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. And paste that. So notice that it doesn't really go through. Now the reason for that is uh, by default it tries to go to the HTTPS endpoint and uh, since uh, that uh, we haven't really uh, um, or we are not really listening on that particular port uh, on the Nginx, uh, it really doesn't go through. Now uh, we can actually try to go uh, and uh, you know uh, do a curl on this. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that really quickly just to see that uh, we have um, we have Nginx loading from there, uh, just the way uh, this test page was being loaded. So quickly. So I'm going to run this once again. Uh, it did load uh, earlier, but we'll just load it once more. Yeah, so notice that uh, the same Nginx page we are able to open. But since the browser always uh, by default nowadays, uh, the modern browsers uh, try to go to the HTTPS endpoint. It's uh, and since we are not listening to the 443 port, it's not really going through. All right, no problem. So we have our Nginx installed. So let's go ahead and try to execute rest of the other uh, instructions. Now this uh, uh, libs uh, dependency is required for us to later install certbot, which is the way uh, we install and later renew our certificates uh, for let's encrypt so let's go ahead and do that so we have actually installed nginx we tried to uh, go to the instance and the nginx is working we started the nginx also all right so let's go ahead and uh, install the dependency that's good uh, now we have to create a virtual environment uh, for or python virtual environment uh, for the cert bot uh, uh, python extension to run so let's go ahead and do that uh, now on this instance, I already have Python 3 installed. Uh, in fact, uh, AWS EC2 instances come with Python 3 installed. And uh, all right, let's go ahead and upgrade our pip. All right. 
Now, let's go ahead and install Sudbot. So just follow these instructions that are provided here. Now, what we are doing is uh, after the Sudbot does get installed, which uh, is what has happened now, we're going to create a link to it, um, and we're going to put that into user bean Sudbot directory so that we can directly um, run Sudbot as opposed to running, you know, this entire path. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's that. Now. At this point, we should have the entry made into the zone, right? Which is basically um, your DNS zone. And since I've already made that entry, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that, but make sure uh, at this point, at least you go and update into your uh, domain or subdomain, the proper IP address that is going to refer um, to the instance on which you're trying to deploy the certificate. Now, it this can go a couple of ways, uh, that is uh, procuring and installing the certificate. Um, either you can just get the certificate and then configure it yourself or uh, you could actually use a shortcut uh, which is uh, let's uh, try that first uh, using a shortcut so I'm gonna go ahead and say sudo certbot so sudo certbot and then minus d for domain and our domain was python app.mikhail.com so let's see and boom so it's gonna say uh, it needs an address. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give an address at com, and I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Oh, how do I agree the terms? Yes, yes. Would you be willing once your first certificate is successful to share your email? No. So now notice that it is saying requesting a certificate. All right. So now if you see, it says um, the certificate was saved, but could not be installed. And um, now we have to manually install it. So notice that it says uh, successfully received the certificates. And uh, so in an SSL certificate, uh, there are two um, parts which are important. Uh, first one obviously is your certificate uh, which is basically your public key and uh, then there is a private key which is this one. So now while it could not uh, install um, the certificate we can always install it ourselves. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So I'm gonna go ahead into cd etc nginx and ls minus ltr this is where our uh, nginx configuration file is i'm going to go ahead and win you can use uh, the uh, the editor of your choice right now you have to come into this server block right uh, we're going to come here and uh, let's go ahead and uh, add some entries now these entries uh, will be part of uh, the blog although they are not here now, uh, but they will be part of uh, uh, the block, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and add those entries. So we have to add this block. Now I will go ahead and update the block to have these entries. So uh, the only thing that you need to change is the SSL certificate and SSL certificate key uh, uh, from what it has written when it gave you the certificate. So these are the entries. I'm going to copy that. The full chain pem. Paste it here. And copy. I'm going to copy this one. So this is the private key. Go ahead and paste it here. All right. So, and uh, I'll put this part as part of the blog. And I'm just going to copy this blog. Uh, the block about that we are going to talk about that a little bit later so let's go ahead and update here so shift o so i should have opened it with sudo let's go ahead and open the file same file with sudo scroll down and uh, there you go so now what we are doing is we are asking it to also listen on the port uh, 443 
we are telling that the certificate is installed and the certificate can be found here and the private key is here um, and um, there is some configuration that needs to be installed uh, or uh, needs to be mentioned that we are including here and also what we are saying is redirect all the HTTP requests to HTTPS alright so this seems uh, to be okay I'm gonna go ahead and save this file and uh, quit and sudo nginx or sudo service nginx restart so basically we have restarted our nginx service we can also check the status all right excellent now what we can do is we can refresh this maybe I, let me open this in a different page yeah so notice that it uh, did open and there is our familiar lock icon for HTTPS so we have installed Nginx then we have uh, procured an SSL certificate now we did encounter an error because it could not actually install the certificate so we had to manually install it so you could actually go ahead and instead uh, of using this big command you could use uh, this command and uh, get the certificate and install it manually the way we have installed right so this really completes our demo but uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting there are two things i want to uh, cover one is uh, this certificate is available only for uh, like three or four months something like that and uh, we want to make sure that when time comes this certificate needs to be renewed right uh, now for that uh, we can make sure that this can be done in an automated way and that's what we are going to do so if you go to the blog Again, this blog will be updated for uh, the instructions that we uh, use to manually install this certificate. So uh, be assured of that. Now, the next thing we are doing is we are trying to set up a renewal. Uh, let me set this up and I'll explain it what we are doing. So I'm gonna clear this, go ahead and paste this command. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say renew uh, the certificate. And this is just a dry run, so it is not really uh, renewing. It's a simulation of the renewal. So notice it says simulating renewal of an existing certificate, right? So now how, uh, what really happened here? So what we are doing here is we are saying um, at, on every day at 00, 0 and uh, uh, 12 o'clock, uh, go ahead and run this command, certbot renew minus q, which basically what it does uh, is it actually make sure that uh, any certificate that is due to renewal um, uh, or it, it uh, the renewal date is nearby it's going to go ahead and renew that certificate for you right so that way uh, and this is basically creating a cron tab entry which is a way of creating scheduled uh, jobs on linux so we have set up our renewal now uh, another thing i wanted to show you was on this particular application or server on this instance uh, i also have an application running uh, which is what uh, is listening to the port number 3000 so let's go ahead and access that application really quickly and uh, using the nginx uh, and http or uh, and this uh, certificate installed on it what we want to do is we want to actually um, access our application securely over https so notice that this application is running on port number 3000 right um, and uh, it's just a simple curl application and uh, that's really what that is so now let's go ahead and uh, uh, try to uh, do that uh, now with nginx now this has nothing to do with ssl in particular but uh, uh, if this is something good to know if you're running a web application uh, what we are trying to do here is we are saying uh, we are adding another uh, directive uh, to our nginx configuration called as proxy pass and we are sending that to localhost 3000 so any request that comes to the nginx right away here uh, it is going to be actually sent uh, uh, downstream uh, into the application that is running so again uh, we are done with our demo we have actually installed uh, and or we are procured and installed the certificate but just in case you have an application running and you want to keep it behind uh, this particular um, SSL uh, uh, configured nginx this is how you would do it all right so again I'm gonna go ahead into our nginx configuration file and uh, right before this i'm gonna go ahead in fact i can do it below so and you can use any editor of your choice i'm using vim and that's really that and 
and let's go ahead and restart our nginx now if we now go to this application so i'll just close this close this and close this close this as well and for f5 so let's wait for it yeah so now notice that it is opening my application which is behind uh, the nginx so instead of nginx landing page or nginx test page which was opening earlier we are actually opening my application so how it is working is uh, on port number 80 nginx is running on which there is an ssl certificate that is installed which is what we did earlier and then that is uh, doing a, a reverse proxy uh, to our server that is running on 3000 there's a simple python app python flask app that is running and this thing on port number 3000 and that's what it is now what we can do is go ahead and uh, remove uh, from our security group uh, the port number 3000 because uh, we are not accessing it from outside we are actually accessing port number 80 uh, in fact not even port number 80 port number 443 um, and then from there um, we are being tunneled into this application so that's really how uh, you can um, get an SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt and uh, you can go ahead and deploy it on your Nginx instance or on your web server on which you have Nginx installed. So in this demo, we installed Nginx, we installed some supporting libraries or dependencies. Um, we created a virtual environment in Python in which we installed CertBot. We use CertBot to actually get a certificate. Now we use a shortcut, but we could have used this one. Um, this couldn't really install the certificate, but uh, uh, we actually then manually installed it into the Nginx configuration file. Then we set up the renewal for this particular uh, certificate so that, you know, whenever it is up for renewal, it can get automatically renewed. And then we used uh, the proxy pass uh, in each, uh, directive um, and uh, an application that was running on this instance, we tunneled into that application. So now... Um, not just our Nginx itself, uh, we were able to expose over SSL or HTTPS. Uh, we have shown in this demo how we can um, expose an application running on this instance uh, through Nginx reverse proxy with SSL. All right. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. Do check out the blog. Do like this video and share it with somebody who can use it. And happy cloud computing, everyone. Bye.